Hi folks, folks, all that folks. All right folks, welcome to another beer review. Uh, sporting an unintentional Alan Partridge, Ed's hairstyle. We'll start again, shall we? Welcome to another beer review. Got right, terrible hair today. Um, yeah, I made a mistake of when I went to the shower last night before bed, just brushed all my hair back and it's uh, gone into this shape. So I look like my name's like Niles and I've got a really rich mum and dad and I'm uh, about to inherit the estate, but hey ho, it is what it is. So today I'm going over to Overtone and uh, we're having a look at Crystal Ball, which is an 11% triple IPA. I can already see that I'm probably going to really like this beer. Will it come true? We'll find out. So, just what we'd all like to have, a crystal ball. This beer may not be that, but it's triple dry hopped with cryo, which is good enough for us. A huge tropical burst with a smooth, dank finish will take your mind off the future and focus on what's in your hand. So it's Citra, Citra Cryo, Idaho 7, Idaho 7 Cryo and Strata. And uh, yeah, 11% ABV. Not bad for a, a Monday evening. And also, uh, by the time you get to watch this, I will have also, and also, I've said also twice in the same sentence. Excuse me. Um, yeah, by the time you get to see this video, I will have already done a joint live review of another triple IPA from Overtown with my good friend, Harry, from Blue Nose Beer Reviews. Didn't forget his name, I just stumbled upon my words. And uh, we're going to be having a look at the uh, last three in Tiuka. Fucking, that's my attempt at then pressure limit and I'm spilling beer on the floor. It's always good to spill a 10% beer all over the floor when I should be spilling it into my gullet. So, do like a good triple IPA. I've not had one for a little bit of a while. A little bit of a while, that doesn't sound right. So I'm looking forward to this and uh, yeah, it's slightly dark hop custard. Um, got a little bit of an oranginess to it. Almost has sort of like um, peach or sort of like pear juice or something like that. Pear juice, is that a thing? <coughs> Throat was making weird sounds then. And then about just shy of a finger's worth of a slightly off-white head. Looking very nice and dense and thick. And uh, the beer looks like that as well. Not bad. Got my voice. Am I being possessed? Anyway, I mean, I know they say you shouldn't mess with Ouija boards, but if you're uninitiated in the world of mysticism and fortune telling, maybe you shouldn't be dicking around with crystal balls either. We all like to mess around with balls, though, don't we? Anyway, looks good. Un unnecessary uh, testicle based joke there, but got to add that to the list. On the nose then, oh wow, that's got a lovely sweetness to it, a very peachy, loads of melon coming through, getting a nice soft grapefruit like aroma, but then you get a really sort of like sticky, not necessarily caramel, but something along those sorts of lines. Oh, yeah. A little bit of sort of like a, a nice marmalade aroma as well. It just smells so delightful. So hopefully it tastes just as, if not more delightful. Hopefully it tastes better 
than my attempt at trying to formulate a coherent sentence. Uh, cheers, folks. I mean, the texture on this beer is just absolutely amazing. All the way from it first entering your mouth to its finish. It doesn't sort of like just fizzle away or disappear. It sort of lingers and then sort of like gets absorbed by your tongue. Tell you what though, 11% ABV, no detection of that at all. Maybe though, except for towards the end of the beer, there is a little bit of that sort of, um, not necessarily boozy, but you know when you've had like alcohol you can breathe, there's like fumes almost. It sounds like it's harsh, it's nowhere near that. It's not even like green or anything. Nowhere near that. Silky smooth. We've just maybe a subtle bit, not necessarily a bite, but maybe a little bit of a nibble on the back end. Just to let you know that, hang on a minute, it's a lemon percent. But you don't feel that at all. And in fact, you could drink this way, way too quickly. Absolutely spot on with the description of dankness on the back end as well. Because it's like a little bit more sweet, a little bit more vibrant going in. Coats your palate beautifully. And then this sort of like slight resiny, dank, savoury character comes through. And then it sort of like blends itself into a really nice, gentle, bitter finish. With just, as I said, a little bit of a tickle on the back end just to finish it all off. It's not even like getting warm as it's going down. But I've not actually described the flavours though. I'm getting a little bit of like um, lemon curd, but not a sort of like a zingy. Mind you, lemon curd does seem to have a nice sweetness to it. There's definitely a sort of melon-like character. A little bit of peach. There's a almost berry-like sweetness. I can't put my finger on what sort of berry it would be. And then you get a nice pink grapefruit flavour in there as well. Not overtly citrusy, not overtly tropical, though there are some subtle mango-like flavours in there as well. It's just uh, absolutely fantastic. And it does feel like hoppy custard. The Teletubbies would absolutely get off their tits on this. So, um, yeah, this is... This is really good, and it's another example of why I really like triple IPAs. Um, I know there are people out there, and I can see where they're coming from, who think that it's just, it's almost unnecessary. Um, and almost sometimes you get the impression that brews are just trying to show off, which is nothing wrong with that if you want to. I don't think Overtone are trying to do that. I think they're just trying to brew a really good triple IPA and they've done exactly that. And I should, for the rest of the next hour, if it makes it that far, sip on it as opposed to taking big glugs. Because I've got a left-handed giant triple IPA in the fridge, which I'm really tempted to open after this one. But I'm like, do I do that on a Monday evening? I am working from home for the time being, so I can get away with it. Decisions, decisions. But no matter what, this is an absolute banger. Fantastic stuff indeed. Highly, highly recommended. 
And in terms of like price point for a triple IPA, um, you can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong, especially with a lot of triple IPAs now coming up towards that £10 mark, which would be something you'd sometimes pay for, something like other half and things like that, which it's weird, isn't it? Other half is a lot more accessible now. But it's just one of those situations where you don't necessarily have to and I put way too many syllables in necessarily. You don't really have to go out your way to import the big boys from America. Because <laughs> we're doing some fantastic examples of this style here in the UK. And this is one of them. And it is highly, highly, highly recommended. Overtone have done it again. Um, I absolutely felt head over heels with the uh, Sabrosa, which I had recently. I wish I'd have picked up more cans of that because that was just chef's kiss. And in terms of a triple IPA, it's a chef's kiss as well. as If I was Italian, I'd be kissing you on each cheek. Um, it's that good, but also showing a sign of respect. But uh, yeah, Overtone, awesome brewery. Links will be in the description. I reviewed a few of their beers now, and as I said... There will also be a live review with my good friend Harry of another triple IPA from these guys. So if I remember to do so, which I probably won't, link will be in the description as well. <clears throat> if you can't go wrong with next day delivery, good delivery, um, like free delivery threshold, great range of beers. Prices are really good. And uh, yeah, you're getting a really good beer as well. So can he fault it? Anyway. No need to do a Scottish accent. So on that note, I bid you all a fond farewell. Go check out Overtone in the description. And hopefully next time you'll join me when I don't look like I'm about to uh, stand trial for suspicious activities at a children's home. Lower the tone for no reason. See you guys later. Take care and stay safe. Cheers.